Exam Stress How to Handle the Stress When exams are near, we start worrying. Our tension increases, anxiety levels move up. Fear of results starts, at times headache, pressure of results. In total, we are in stress buddies. This exam stress may lead to stomach upset, sleeplessness, forgetfulness, low confidence, depression, illness, nervousness, loss of appetite or overeating. From where does this exam stress come? Are we in pressure of getting good marks? High expectation of our parents? Competitiveness or comparison with others? Why do we forget what we have learned for exams? Is it because of no proper plan for exams? Is it because of no proper plan for revision? Is it because of not taking proper rest? Or is it because of tension of exams? Now let us see some tips on how to manage this exam stress. The first tip is plan your study. What is today's date? What is the tentative examination date? How many days are left? How many subjects you have to study? How you have planned each day? How is your revision and how are you reviewing your subjects? The second tip is how you schedule your subjects. Prime study time. All important subjects to be read in the morning hours. Which are easy, it should be read in the evening hours. At night, you should review so that your subconscious mind saves all the information. The next tip is discipline action. It's nothing but how you plan your study and how you follow your schedules, how you review your progress each day. It means you have followed the discipline action. The next tip is to improve concentration. Always use same place to study. Avoid distractions like television, mobile phone, Facebook. And inform your family members do not disturb during exam preparation. By this your concentration will improve on your exams. Let me share some exercises that help concentration. Before we start reading, rub your palms and touch your eyes. The warmth give you cool mind. Do some deep breathing two to three times and visualize your success and always use mind maps so that you remember properly in examination. Do the difficult task first. Start with the most difficult task. Avoid postponing the unpleasant task. When you finish difficult task, you will feel more confident about yourself. Be aware of rebutal people, I mean friends who always remind our negative emotions. Avoid taking advices from such friends or family members who are hyper and keep persisting of what happened. Talk to them but do not get carried away by their negative emotions. Take right amount of rest. Take small breaks and do concentration exercises. Right amount of sleep always give you fresh mood when you are in examination hall. Always focus on healthy foods during examination time. Have fruits and dry fruits. Drink lot of water. You can choose milk and eggs. Try to avoid junk food as much as possible. Always have a positive attitude. Think, feel and see yourself as successful. Think and feel good about yourself. Stop comparing with others. Be confident. Always pose a question. Will this be end of exams or end of your life? Do not think what other people think about you. Failure is not a failure. Failure is not getting up after failing. Talk with your parents or teachers. Talk openly about your fears and concerns. Share your aspirations or goals. Share what you expect from them. Ask what are their expectations from you. Communicate with clarity. Make commitments today. Take ownership and responsibility of yourself, of your study, of your exams, of your career and at the last of your life. Do your best, forget the rest, which means when you do best, always you'll get success.